hi subscribers i welcome you back to my channel it's nice having you back today i'm going to show you on how to calculate earth material stock by volume analysis cut and fill of excavation condition to obtain this certain result what you have to do is to provide your x y z coordinates you launch your software so from your server you'll be able to calculate your stock by your volume analysis your earth materials give it any name of your choice like i said earlier on with your xyz coordinates for pre and post survey that is the ground level when you are in a site you want to determine the stock pipe for that area you want to determine the volume analysis for an area you want to determine the cut and feed of excavation of an area the first thing you have to do is to pick your xyz coordinates of that site when picking the xyz coordinates that is what we call pre survey that is the first observation you take on site that is the ground observation then after you obtain your pre survey materials will be dumped on the site then when you want to calculate the volumes of sand that has been dumped to this certain area you will also observe your post survey post survey is observation taken after a materials has been dumped to, to a site and you observe your pre-survey then after you take your post and pre-survey then you can go ahead to determine the volume calculation now to determine your volume calculation after you launch your software you have your post and pre-survey on the screen this is my pre-survey that is the observation obtained before dumping of any materials before bringing any materials to the site so from this observation obtained which i have on the screen here what you will do is that from this observation obtained which is our pre why this is our post this is the dump materials of the site this is the xyz coordinate of the dump materials then what you do is for your pre-surface you will determine an average height for your pre-surface because the software is going to require for an average height from you so we have different method of doing this calculation I have a video on how to do this type of volume calculation using AutoCAD CV 3D. You can also visit the video to check on how to do the calculation. I'm dropping the video on how to do this calculation using software. So this is pre-surface. For your pre-surface, you will determine an average height. For you to determine an average height, you go to the final uh, data that you have, which is this on the last number of the data obtained from your pre surface. You just press equals to and then you press average. then you click on average you double click on average so after you double click on average you scroll up and then you select the height of thing on site to determine the average height you know the heights are not constant so you, you, what you do is to determine an average height for that then after you select all the values of the height obtained on site then you press enter now you can see this is the average height that was obtained from what we did then you copy this average value now going back to our sofa so you click on grid data and you can use green 
some cases we use natural neighbors so you come to you click on browse and then you click on the post data you have on on your on wherever you save it and you open now what this view data simply means is that for you to confirm if it's falling on the column where it's supposed to be which is maybe it's falling on abc that is xyz at times it might require some might fall on d so you have to edit it properly here to change the representation where it falls so since this one is falling on its right place you can leave it since it's correct is directly xyz then you click on next next you click on next you click on next now on this last page if you want the system to generate a report a good report for you then you check this in but if you don't need any report you uncheck and click on flash then you have your grid data you have your contour So if you don't want this contour to display, you can just come to this content here to uncheck the contour. Now what you simply do next is to come to grid, you click on grid, you locate grid and click on grid, then you come to volume. Now under volume like i said we have different method of carrying out this volume and analysis but i'll be using this method now after you click on grid volume you select your materials the grid data that the software has developed for you you select and you click on open then after you click on open you know that this is upper surface upper surface is the post data upper surface is the materials that was dumped on the site now the lower surface is the is the ground level is the ground data observed so now that is what we obtain for our ground surface pre-survey is for our ground surface which is our pre-survey which is our pre-survey that that was where we obtained 13 minus negative uh, 13.2 wherever so what you do is this thing here this value you copy it out you copy And then you come back to your sofa and then under this constant Z you paste it there and you click OK. Now these are the values that was obtained. You can also do it to watch my video on how to calculate this exact volume analysis using CV3D. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and to turn notification bells on. You can also share these videos. Thanks. You can reach us for any questions, assistance through the video descriptions. You get links to our direct social media where you can communicate with us. Thank you.